countries. So we are in Bojnice Castle in Slovakia. And here we have some really cool things going on. Above us, we have a chandelier that is over 650 kilos. Um, so over half a ton, very, very heavy. And on it, all of the lights, there's about 110 of them that are running all at one time is just a lot of them and so they actually had to move this chandelier from a different castle because this one's just a little bit prettier and they just liked it better and it's so heavy that they had to reconstruct the ceiling in order to make sure that it was supported well enough well one of the paintings in here this is a gallery inside of the castle just beautiful really really well done paintings and one of them depicts jesus on the cross with two robbers on either side of him and so we're going to read that passage and then there's a really cool connection with the chandelier actually along with that so this is in matthew chapter 27 when jesus was murdered on the cross when he was crucified starting in verse 36 then they sat down and kept watch over him there and over his head they put the charge against him which read, This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Then two robbers were crucified with him on his right and one on his left. And those who passed derided him, wagging their heads and saying, You who would destroy the temple and rebuild it in three days, save yourself if you are the Son of God come down from the cross. So also the chief priests with the scribes and the elders mocked him, saying, He saved others. He cannot save himself. He is the king of Israel. Let him come down from the cross, and we will believe in him. Right? If we see it, we'll believe it. It's not faith. He trusts in God. Let God deliver him now if he desires him. For he said, I am the son of God. And the robbers who were crucified with him also reviled him in the same way. And so during this account, we see these people who are mocking Jesus and saying, well, if you're the son of God, if you're equal with God, if you're fully man and fully God, save yourself. And it's just this challenge to who he is, to his testimony to who uh, he claimed to be, that he is the son of God, that he is God. And so as we're looking at this passage, the man on his side that was mocking him ends it up having the other man correct him and say, no, 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 <laughs> I know you think that this man deserves to be crucified with us, but he doesn't. He's done nothing wrong. Jesus was absolutely sinless. He lived a perfect life, unlike any man has ever done. And that's why his sacrifice is sufficient and no other person's ever would be. That's why we don't have to make any of those Old Testament sacrifices like Leviticus. That's done. The new law has come. He's come to fulfill the law. And so he said, we deserve to be on the cross. These crosses that we wear around our neck, the ones that we see in the churches, we belong on those. Jesus took our place. He died for us. He took our sins upon himself. So he said, no, this man doesn't deserve to die, but we do. And Jesus said to him, truly, I say to you today, you will be with me in paradise. It's such a beautiful promise that even at the end of someone's life, even if they weren't a Christian, even if they didn't believe and they didn't have faith, at the end of their life, they can still say, you know what, I deserve to be here. I deserve to be condemned. The wages of my sin bring death. But this man has done nothing wrong. He is perfect. And Jesus can look at us and say to us and to those people, the ones that don't know him yet, Truly today, I tell you, you will be with me in paradise. And hopefully we have a long life with him and we're not putting it off until the end. But it is possible. There is hope. And just like we were talking about this chandelier, this one that is so heavy, that's 650 kilos or more, that is so beautiful, just like the church, though it's imperfect, has so many lights. There's 110 lights on here. There's so many of us that he supports as he's the vine and we are the branches. We come off of him. It's so beautiful. And the ceiling had to be reconstructed. There were beams that had to be put in because it was so heavy. And so this beautiful thing had to be contained, had to be upheld and supported. And so this beautiful promise that we have that today I will see you with me in paradise, even though we're criminals, even though we're terrible, sinful people, we have a promise that is more sure, more secure than any chandelier, than anything else that shines so much brighter than this, that is so much more precious than the gold as we see in Christ's blood and love for you and for me.
that's never too late.